Hey, what's up? This is your girl, Diamond. As we all know, Generation X and Y has had this big HIV dark cloud over it. Since I was born, um, it has went from being a gay white male disease to a gay social stigma to Magic Johnson to Easy e to being a down low brother you know, type of thing. It has went through so many stages, but it has been a major thing. Well, good news. Doctors claim that they have a functional cure for HIV. Timothy Ray Brown was diagnosed with HIV in 1995. He lives in the Bay Area now. He was living in Berlin, Germany, and over there he was getting treated for his HIV and leukemia. For all of you who don't know, um, because your immune system is so compromised when you have HIV, usually the, your complications come from things like the common cold, pneumonia, and you're more susceptible to stuff like cancers like leukemia. So he was getting treated for HIV and leukemia. And the doctors over there gave him a bone marrow transplant and a stem cell transplant. And voila, he was cured based off these procedures. And that is like wonderful, wonderful news to just a big, bright sunbeam through this big cloud of HIV. My question that I want to ask you all is, nature has its way of balancing things out when things are out of balance. Say you're a farmer and you're on a farm and your wife hates snakes. And there's like snakes around your farm so you kill all of them you f you find them and you kill them you figure out a way to trap them and you kill them but because you killed the snakes there's an imbalance on your farm because the snakes used to hunt and kill the rats so now on your farm you have so many rats because the snakes are not killing them. So now they're eating up your corn or your feed that you have somewhere. They bite the holes through. Da, da, da. So now you have a rat infestation because you got rid of the snake. Okay? So because you got rid of the snake, it imbalanced some things. Because the rat population went up, more birds start coming around. Like, Falcons and hawks and stuff that can swoop down and kill them because, oh, this farm is full of rats. We can catch these. So now there's more birds over here because nature finds its way to balance itself out because you killed the rats. Now you're attracting birds because there's a lot of rats here and they see them. And it's like, oh, we're flying around and we see a whole bunch of rats. Okay? So nature has its way of balancing things out. So my question is, do you think that diseases like cancer, HIV, um, and other things that seems to have, you know, a profound effect on our life expectancy as human beings, do you think that's nature's way of balancing our overpopulation out? Because we are depleting the resources of the earth and, you know... We are kind of overstepping our boundaries. People are living longer because we have these scientific technologies that are allowing, you know, us to live longer than previous generations. Do you think that diseases are a way of nature balancing it out and it's fixing these diseases a good idea if that is the case. Tell me what you think. This is your girl Diamond. Have a good day.